Sawyer recently interviewed Bravo TV's top chef candidate, Spike Mendelson, about his burgers and fries and everything he's doing in D.C., is that right? That's right. I talked to Spike and he told me all the good stuff, including some of his upcoming projects. He's got another new restaurant opening up and another new cooking show in the pipeline. Well, all that stuff sounds exciting. Let's get a bite to eat while you watch this interview. Let's go. You know, and it's like it's a very spe special thing coming from like a restaurant family. It's like different from most families. It really is. You know, when all your and your Greek family and my too, Greek right? family, you throw a little Greek in the mix. It's you know, it's, it's bonkers. But um, but yeah, it's like you know when my friends were all like on the beach in Florida hanging out. I was at the restaurant working, and um, I hated the business actually because I mean you know, what kid at 13 years old enjoys washing dishes at their parents' restaurant right. while they're going you know they're going crazy so. Uh, yeah, it's a tough business. So I never really, uh, I, at a young age, I didn't have that the love for the business as I do. So, but mom had to deal with you because... Like, oh, the epiphany. Yes. yes. Well, what happened was that she got, uh, she's a, a chef herself, and um, she got very weeded, which means like she was, you know, she was in the shits in the restaurant. Like it was very busy. Uh, I think a, a saute cook had shown up, and, and uh, she looked over you know, me in the dish station, she just kind of had me come over and, you know, like one thing you don't realize in the kitchen is things just come naturally to you if, if you spend time in the kitchen. So I just jumped onto the station like I'd worked it every single day of my life and just started flipping pans and, you know, kicking door, you know, oven doors and cleaning and all this kind of stuff. And she was like, whoa, you know, what's going, you know, what's going on here? So she didn't really let me know at that, that point because she didn't want to, you know, feed my ego, I guess. <laughs> But, uh, you know, I had the natural talent, so um, something she recognized and, you know, uh, was proud of because she's a chef herself, so she saw a little bit of herself for me, and, and uh, just started like that. I mean, you guys were really in a pressure cooker, having to do, I mean, those quick fire challenges yeah. or being in the kitchen. Do you think that that in any way skewed the results of, of who really is the top chef? I mean, how important of a factor? Well, yeah, I mean, the thing is, is, is uh, you know, as a chef, like, especially when you're creating dishes, you, you you never make a dish the first time and it's perfect. Do you know what I mean? It's like it takes you a couple weeks. Like, especially if you're looking for signature dishes to put on your menu, it definitely takes a while to work out the kinks and balance, balance out the flavors and make sure it gets made the way you want it to be made. And um, to put up a dish in 15 minutes without knowing you know, what ingredients you're using and being 100% perfectly proud of it was kind of absurd. Right. Uh, and that's the way I work. Like, I, I'm, um, I like to be creative, but it's like, it's, it's, uh, it's a work in progress. It's not like, it's not like an on the fly, like wacky, like thing. It's, it's, uh, and I also don't like using like chemicals or anything like that. I don't like the water bath stuff. It's just like, I'm a different kind of technical chef. Why did you decide, obviously after Top Chef, that enabled you many opportunities, but why did you choose Washington, D.C.? Yeah. And why did you choose the concept that you did? Um, well, D.C. first was, um, I, don't know, I was in New York City for about three years, and um, you know, a lot of great chefs are, are very passionate chefs, and I'm a passionate chef too, but one thing that chefs do lack is a business sense. And I'm just lucky because I grew up in a family business that I, you know, the business, the restaurant business sense was instilled in me. And, um, you know, nationally recognized show, um, young guy, and I wanted to open something that would apply to maybe the masses. Like, 
but I had opened maybe a fine dining restaurant with 25 seats. It's not the best business decision, and it's a passionate one, like, oh, I want to do my 14 course meal. Yeah. But also, like, you know, you, I have to look at the economy and where we're at and how, what kind of price point I want. So, to, to wrap it up, it was that the scene in New York was oversaturated. Mm -hmm. uh, things are like fads there, so especially if I, I wanted to open something that I could maybe franchise in the future, it wasn't the, New York's not like the best testing place, and rents are high. And um, DC just seems like it was, it was very vibrant. Obama was going to be elected. And, you know, I, was, I didn't know at that point that he was going to actually be, but I had, you know, anything. And uh, it's just for a young guy, it's like, you know, it's like I'm, you know, a big fish in a small pond. Michelle Obama was in. Oh, was she? Uh, about three, uh, three weeks ago. Oh my gosh. She, was in, she came in with 20 staff members, 20 Secret Service. Do they make calling you in advance? No, they just came in. Uh, oh, what a nice surprise! The, yeah, I know. It was. It's actually. It was, it was hectic. There was like people, out, you know, chanting her name outside. It was. It was, it was actually pretty cool. Food2.com. It's uh, It's brought to you by the Food Network. It's a new uh, thing they're doing for. Uh, um, they launched a new website, and it's uh, it's geared to our generation for uh, for. Uh, you know, our peers that love, like, they love the information of cooking very fast. Like, we don't have the patience to watch television for, like, a half an hour cooking show. So what we've done is come out with this website where I show you how to cook a dish in two to four minutes. And you get all the information you get in a show for a half an hour in two to four minutes. So um, it's a show that I co-host with Kelsey Nixon from the next Food Network star, a little Mormon girl, Ron. And, like, the premise is she's by the book and I'm off the hook. So like, for instance, we take a roast chicken, she does it very by the book, and I kind of play around with it and show you a different take on it. So it's a lot of information in a very short amount of time, 